It's always in demand. It's sometimes out of stock and it is a lifesaver when you're in a hurry. Straight ahead on Silver Linings. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own funds, but I love it so much. I think the last price point I saw was under $70. It will save you so much time and it comes in tons of colors. It's a wonderful, a wonderful lifesaver and time saver. So today I absolutely had to do a very quick re-review of Tony Bratton's beautiful fall for fall 2021. Now if you're new to wigs, this is how I got started. When my hair started to go very thin, oh about three years ago, three and three and a half years ago, I started doing some research online and I'm not really sure, I can't remember, but how I found this wig or how I found this, I should say, alternative hair. Let me give you a look at the inside of the cap of this alternative hair, also known as a fall. Now, she, you, there's the inside of the cap. You can see that there's a comb up there. And it is open wefted, so it's very breathable on your head. And all of that hair is attached to the hairband with a felt tab. And I don't want to take it all off, but you can see, hopefully you can see there, let me give you another view here, how she is affixed with Velcro onto that headband so that you can absolutely take this hair off of the band very carefully take the hair off the band, make sure she's centered, and then give her a wash. I can count on one hand in three years how many times I've washed this alternative hair, and I've worn her and worn her and worn her. Now, full disclosure, this is a brand new piece that I've gotten within the last, I don't know, month or two. I've only worn her a handful of times, but this will really save you when you need to have look pretty decent and have your hair... Um, ready quickly. I've already reviewed this piece of hair, this alternative piece of hair, which is called a fall. I've reviewed her twice. This is the second one I've had in three years, and I wear it to literally to death. Twice in the last month, I have been approached by two, set, two different sets of people complimenting me on my hair. The first time someone approached me was at a lovely restaurant in New Jersey. Her name is Gail. And if you're watching, hi, Gail. And she came over to me and uh, interrupted our dinner and asked if she might ask me a couple of questions about my hair. She said, oh, you have beautiful hair. And, you know, that was nice to hear. But I kind of smiled. And, you know, at that moment, you say to yourself, do I tell them? Do I not tell them? Well, I usually tell people because I want I want women to find out what I have found out about how to how to have nice looking hair when your hair is starting to thin. So I said, this is not my hair. This is a fall. And she kind of did a double take. She said, what do you mean it's a fall? And I said, well, this part comes off. There's hair attached. And I began to explain to her what this was. And she said, you're kidding me. It's beautiful. And so we we left the dinner. Our, we left our husbands at the dinner table. I was with another couple. And I proceeded to go into the ladies' room. And I took it off. Total stranger. And I took it off. And I showed her how to put it on, and I even let her put it on. I know you're probably going, oh, my gosh, you don't know if she's clean. She looked very clean to me. So, okay, <laughs> I let her put it on, and we have been in touch since. So hopefully that we, we, we may be doing some kind of a collaboration together. That was time number one. Time number two happened yesterday, same restaurant. I was out to lunch with my husband, and a nice lady, two nice ladies were uh, – having dinner behind us and so one of them came up and and apologized for interrupting and 
asked me if I if she could ask me a personal question. I said yes, and she said you just beautiful hair, and and we just we were just sitting here admiring your hair, and I just wanted to compliment you. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> and I began to tell her the same thing that I told the lady a few weeks prior. Now we didn't go into the ladies' room because I was just there with my husband alone, and but I told her what it was, where she could find it, how much it costs, and so. That's the story behind this particular piece of alternative hair. Now, the first thing I want to do is show you how easy it is to put on this hair. I've just got a couple of bobby pins in here. So you get up first thing in the morning, your hair is a wreck, or, you know, you just don't have time to do anything with it. So what I do is I comb it all out. Now, you can wear this one of two ways. And I think Tony shows this also on her video. You can just either pull your hair all the way back from your forehead, like so. And then you're just going to take the headband, aim it up toward the ceiling, make sure all the hair is pulled away from the front of the from the front of the band. Make sure it's not sticking on to anything. And then make sure all the velcro is pressed down against the band. Now you're just going to flip her back. Again, make sure your hair is behind your ears. This is the first way. And then you're just going to Flip her up and put her on, push her back. It's that easy. And then you're either going to take a wide tooth comb like this, or preferably a wig comb like this. And then you're just going to comb her out like that. And so. Your girlfriend called, she wants to go to lunch, you've got a, an, a business meeting on Zoom, you hadn't thought of, you forgot about, you've got time for makeup, but you don't have time to do your hair. That's the way number one. Now the second way that you're going to wear this particular piece is you're going to just pull out some of the hair. Just take your take any kind of a comb that you've got that you can kind of drag through. You can do this either before you put on the hair or after you put on the hair. Sometimes I do it before, sometimes I do it after. So there's my natural, there's my bio hair. So I'm just going to pull that out. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Pull out as much or as little as you like. There's that. And so that makes her look even that much more believable. <laughs> even without doing that, people still say, oh, I love your hair. And then I tell them where they can buy it. The third way that you're going to do this is before you actually put the piece on, you're going to pull out some of however much you want to pull out. Now, I usually will take a pretty good chunk. Unless I'm in a really big hurry, then I'll just, you know, comb the whole thing back like I just showed you. But I'll take a pretty good hunk like that. And then I'll take a couple of clips just to keep it back until I get it on. So I've got the one side. And then I'll do it on the other side. Okay, so there's my hair that's pulled out. Oh, so there's my hair that's pulled out. And then once again, I'm going to put her on. Remember to pull out all the hair that's attached to the Velcro. Just pull that out and then if, if it separates away from the band, just push it back on. 
flip it back and put it where you want it. I usually wear it pretty close to the front. And then you're going to find those clips, take the clips out. And just give it a comb through, comb the hairs together. And there is a little comb under there. Sometimes I fix that, I, I push that comb in, sometimes I don't. The piece that I bought three years ago had three combs in it, and I actually liked that because it felt very secure. But if you need that security, you can always buy some wig combs. I'll link them below, and um, and you could sew them in for added security. So that's how you do it that way. You're just going to pull it back. And you're just going to make a low bun at the bottom of at the nape of your neck. And the trick here is just, again, make sure how, whatever you want pulled behind is pulled behind. And then just smooth it down. Just smooth that part down. And then just like you would do with your natural hair, just make sure that part is smoothed down. You'll see. Sometimes if you don't do it right, there'll be a little, a little bump because there's a, little bit too, there's a lot of hair. Just catch it. In your, in your scrunchie, and that's it. And then the final way, let's say you don't have a lot of hair, or you're, you know, you're really thin in through here, which I am but I still have enough that I can kind of create an optical illusion. So what I'll do is I'll take some true hair color and lift. You can also see it here. True hair color and lift. And I will just tap it. Now my hair is a little soiled here because I had some minor surgery a few days ago so I haven't been washing my hair but I'll just because it's kind of thinning here I'll just pop some of this hair filler right here and this is this and this is the color white And then I'll just comb that through however much you want. Now, if you don't have that, you can go to your local CVS or even Amazon, wherever, and you can use some of this Batiste dry shampoo. And that will work well, too. And just give it a... Wherever you want it a word about this right here. If you're using a lot of these products in your hair, I would say at least once a week, get yourself a clarifying shampoo. I just ordered one. I'll link it below. Um, just to get the buildup of any product that you're using, whether it's a hair filler or whether it's a shampoo that has color in it. I would say at least once a week, certainly a minimum of once a month, just get that build up off of your hair, off of your scalp, especially if you're using scalp serums. You want the serums to be able to nourish your hair. And so just like you wouldn't put a serum on a face with full makeup, you would take, you would cleanse the skin and then put your serums on, also called actives, so that they can do their magic on your skin and on your scalp. So... Once a week, I would say, give yourself a clarifying shampoo. And I, and I said, I linked that below. If you really can't find a clarifying shampoo or you don't want to spend the money for a clarifying shampoo, they're not expensive. They're 6 or $7. Just uh, mix vinegar and water, one part vinegar, three parts water, 
and pour it over your hair in the shower, massage it in. No, you're not going to smell like vinegar, but it will really help to rid the scalp of any buildup of any product that's on there. It'll get it squeaky clean. And just make sure whenever you use a clarifying shampoo or vinegar, you follow it up with a really good conditioner for your hair especially if you've got long hair make sure you rub that conditioner all over you know the shaft of the hair okay so the very final way i'm going to show you as i started to say if you if you have a really skimpy middle part or it looks really skimpy when you push it back then just take some hair from the back they do this on tv all the time everybody they pull the hair from the back and bring it to the front and you're just going to take it like that and then wherever you want you know look in your mirror and see how much you want to go behind the headband I want about that much all right and then on this side I'm going to take about this much okay same thing now, let's get the headband. And I decided to do this video today because the ladies that I met yesterday, those two sweet ladies who, who were complimenting me on my hair, one of them did say, oh, I like how you have it. And I had it all, you know, pushed, my, my hair was pushed back like in video, the first part of the video that I showed you. And she said, but I have a really, I don't have a lot of hair in the middle. Well, neither do I. So I told her about, about this way. And I probably should have taken her email address so I could show her, but they do know about my website, so who knows? Maybe they they are visiting, and if you're here, hello, Linda and Debbie. And so that's how you do that. And now you're going to grab those clips, take those clips out, and then you're just going to comb it. Comb it forward. Make sure you're using a comb like this. I'll link it below and just incorporate the, your own your own bio hair in with the hair on the piece and that's it now if this is gonna bother you I kind of like this look but if this bothers you just take this piece and tuck it behind your ear. And you could see that I was all white, but there is enough white in this piece that it's very forgiving. And it really does blend. I'm seeing I'm very shiny. I'm going to put on some powder before I shine my life away. Okay, well, I'll do a spin for you so you can see how she looks. Remember I told you she's open wafted in the back, so she's, she feels so cool on the head, everybody. I've even worn this in the middle of the summer. And it, it really is like the middle of the summer now because I'm in New York and we're having, a, uh, we're having an Indian summer, as many people are all over the country. I put a card up there for you if you'd like to see some other alternative ways to wear your hair if you're not really ready for a wig yet. I started with pieces like this and just some hair pieces, scrunchies and ponytails. That card is right up there for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like. Hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Let me know in the comments below if you purchased this headband. I know many have based on these reviews and how you like it. Bye-bye. You just have to do it.